Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Today we are going to be going through my capsule wardrobe for the summer season. I know this is a little bit late in the season, but I thought what a better time while most of these pieces are still on sale because by next year they may all be discontinued or out of stock in your size. Now you don't need the exact pieces I have here and I'm going to show today, but it's more of an idea of what kind of styles and how I pair things together to create a capsule capsule wardrobe. I am going to be showing you 14 pieces of clothing today, plus two extra if you are an office working girl like myself. Although some of these pieces you can use for the office, I thought I would include one more outfit that is very, very much office wear appropriate for the summer season. The main 14 pieces are pieces that anybody can wear at any time. They are appropriate for many different occasions and can be combined together in many different ways to create a lot of different outfits for the summer season. So the 14 pieces include two tank tops, a ribbed t-shirt, a long sleeve sweater, a short sleeved sweater, three pairs of shorts, two a little bit more dressy, one more casual, a summer dress pant, a white pair of straight leg jeans, a linen blazer, a lightweight cropped jacket, and two dresses. These are all the essential items that I feel like I need as a capsule summer wardrobe. I will be showing you some accessories as well that I love to pair in combination with these outfits. And most of the pieces here are from sustainable clothing brands, which I am trying to be more conscious of buying and putting my money into businesses that do take a sustainable approach and also higher quality so that it will last me for a longer period of time. Therefore, I am contributing less to landfill, but I will have all these pieces linked down below if they are still available and like I said definitely go and check them out because some of them are on sale right now which is absolutely amazing because if you can get sustainable high quality pieces on sale that is a must. So let's just start out with kind of the basic pieces which is a basic tank. So this first piece here is actually from Aritzia, so not a sustainable clothing brand, but this is made extremely well. I have gotten so much use out of it. It's a great layering piece, but it also is amazing on its own. You can totally wear these with any type of pant just to give a really casual, easygoing look for the summertime. It is a double lined material, making it very strong, and also it really hides any lumps or bumps that are going on. It definitely doesn't emphasize anything. I find that it's just a very kind of like like contouring top which I absolutely love. It is extremely soft and very comfortable to wear so I definitely recommend a piece like this. This is a staple for sure in my collection. So I am very much the type of person that will wear tank tops in the summertime 90% of the time. So I do have a second option here that is a little bit more dressy. It's slightly longer, but still cropped. So it goes beautifully with the high-waisted pants, but it doesn't show your tummy area at all. And it's in this really beautiful kind of like oatmeal color. I absolutely love it. It goes with so many different pieces. Again, very flattering on the body. I definitely suggest Aritzia or Everlane for more of those kind of like basic pieces. They just do those pieces very very well. This is a piece that you can pair with shorts or pants very casually or dress it up a little bit more. It does have a little bit more of a heavy duty luxurious look to it so this one is very very versatile. The previous tank is more of like a casual flare whereas this one you can really dress up and look very nice if you need to. This ribbed t-shirt is also an essential for me. It's actually from H&M, which is very surprising because it's very heavy duty. It's really great quality. It's a very thick knit, so it is better to wear if you are experiencing a little bit chillier weather. It also has that very summery flair because it actually shows your skin in between all the little buttons. This one I definitely would wear a little bit more casually. I've paired them with my Twill Everlane shorts, which I will get to in just a moment, and I think it looks really really beautiful but you can totally pair these with a white pair of jeans or any pair of jeans if you're not into white jeans then this would go well with denim as well so just a great versatile piece I don't believe they sell this exact one anymore but if I find something similar I will link it below 
So this shorter sleeved sweater is a newer piece to my collection. I absolutely fell in love with it. It's so beautiful for the summertime. It is see-through, but I find that I can wear a white bra underneath this and it still looks fine. It's not too revealing. But if that is a concern, you can put the little tank top from Aritzia underneath this and then you are good to go. But I love the warm tone of this piece. It just looks so beautiful with a tan. I absolutely love it. Because of this beautiful knitted design, it does look very luxurious and also a little bit more elevated because of that. These shorts keep everything very flat and nice against the body and it allows this piece to drape beautifully over the shorts. But you could totally tuck this top in as well into a pair of jeans or a different pair of pants. You could wear this top either way which is a very important part when you are looking for pieces for a capsule wardrobe because when you have a piece that you can wear for multiple different types of occasions then it is definitely a winner in my books. Now everything's been a very neutral color palette so far which for me personally is just my aesthetic. I really love just a very neutral palette because then everything can kind of work off each other. It makes it really easy for a capsule wardrobe. But I do have this sweater here that I absolutely love. It is a light sky blue, but I feel like it just pairs with all the beautiful basic tones that I have in my wardrobe and it plays off them very nicely. It's not too out there in your face. It's still very subtle, but it just brings some life to your skin. I just, I absolutely love this. I think it's such a beautiful color. It's very loose and airy. It feels amazing when it's hot out, even though it is a longer sleeved shirt. Because it is such an easy breezy piece of clothing, it really does feel nice in those warm summer months. Again, this is a piece you could wear to work if you are interested in pieces that are appropriate for the office. It is, again, a little bit see-through, but just throw on that tank from Aritzia underneath and it works perfectly. But I I just love this sweater because it looks so beautiful when you tuck it in and because it's such a lightweight material it just flows over the body beautifully I feel like that's a really key feature with summertime outfits is you want it to look very natural and flowy and this piece is just absolutely amazing for that again you don't need this exact one you could get a more fitted one if that is what you prefer I just really liked the easy breezy flowiness of this piece and the color again just goes beautifully with all the creams and neutrals that I have in this wardrobe already. I can pair these with a pair of shorts. I can pair them with pants. I can layer with it. It is a thin enough piece where I can layer a blazer or a jacket over top. So these were the Club Monaco shorts. Absolutely beautiful, such a great piece for the summertime, especially if you want to look a little bit more put together or dressed up. I absolutely love these. You could wear them casually as well, but they definitely have that little bit of a fancier flair to them. They also come with kind of like a unique design with the strong bordering along the pockets and the top of the pant. They're also quite textured. It doesn't really look like it from far away, but up close they are very textured. They have this beautiful silky interior that feels amazing against your skin in the summertime when it is hot. Again, like I mentioned, there is no bulk around the top. They just lie very flat against the silhouette, which makes them amazing if you are someone who likes to wear longer shirts and you're not into the crop top type of shirts. This is a perfect piece for you because you can tuck pieces in or you can let them just drape over top and it looks very, very beautiful. Now, if you are looking for something a little bit more casual, something you can wear every day, just throw on without having to think about it, these shorts from Everlane, if you haven't seen my other videos, I'm absolutely in love with them. I do have them in multiple colors. They are this beautiful twill material. They have this A-line structure that just looks so feminine and beautiful and I absolutely love it. I have worn them so much this year, like a ridiculous amount. You'd be like, Kristen, you need to get some other shorts. <laughs> or decide to wear something else, but they're just so easy to put on because they have this A-line structure. They fit around my waist perfectly, but then they kind of flare out very slightly, not too dramatic, but they do flare out enough where if I'm feeling bloated one day or just not feeling super eager to wear like a tight fitting piece of clothing, these are always my go-to because they make me look put together, yet I'm just so comfortable in them. I love this color. Again, a neutral tone, but it's also very warm. I think the camera makes it look a little bit more orange than they actually are. They're actually this really beautiful kind of rusty terracotta color. Highly, highly recommend. Please go check it out. I just, uh, 
I'm not usually this much of an advocate for something. I'm like, people can wear whatever they want. <laughs> I feel like everybody literally needs these in their wardrobe. They're just amazing. Literally couldn't live without them now that I've experienced wearing them. <laughs> And the last pair of shorts that I have are these shorts from Cezanne. They are so beautiful. Again, they kind of have that A-line structure. Same similar length to the Everlane ones, but they are just so beautiful. The texture on these are absolutely amazing. These are an essential for anyone's wardrobe. You don't have to get these exact ones, but I think something with this kind of like linen-y textured material just looks absolutely beautiful, especially in the summertime. I mean, I don't know about you, but I love linen and linen just looks wrong <laughs> in other seasons. The spring and summertime is really when you can bring those beautiful linen pieces out and it looks very natural and beautiful. I just love the kind of like earthy look that linen gives. I think it's so stunning. It's very upscale. It's very beautiful. These are no exception. The color palette on them is absolutely beautiful as well. I love the tortoiseshell belt loop. I think it's very beautiful. Again, I always pick out tortoiseshell designed sunglasses and I feel like this goes so beautifully. It just pairs everything together really nicely. Again, they cinch in the waist nicely, giving you that feminine figure, but then it does flare out a little bit, giving you room and comfort. And also it's beautiful for if you have kind of like a date night or a lunch date because you can eat a lot and you don't have to worry about your tummy in this piece at all. It just flows over everything very nicely. You can totally wear these with a sandal like I am now, or you could wear these with heels, which again, just gives that a little bit more elevated look. Honestly, they might even have these on sale right now. So I'd definitely go and check those out. By the way, the majority of the links in my description are not affiliate links. Some of them are if I do have the option to do that, but the majority of them are not affiliate links. So I just put them down there for your convenience. But if you do use the ones that are my affiliate links, it just helps me and my channel out. So I really appreciate that. But anyways, these are a really amazing pair of shorts and I feel like everyone could use them in their wardrobe. So these pants were from Club Monaco as well. This enamel round belt loop, as you can tell, I kind of like that look. It kind of gives like, I guess like a 60s vibe. Maybe I'm off in my era <laughs> there, but that's what it kind of reminds me of. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I love when pants come with their own belts because then you have that cinching ability, but you don't really notice the belt too much because it's in the same color and fabric as the actual pants. So I feel like it gives a very like seamless, elegant look when you do have the matching set. But I love the warm creaminess to these pants. Again, they're very flowy. We're given that kind of like flowy natural vibes, which I absolutely love. These are also great if you want to wear them to work. And one of the main things I loved about these pants is the thick band around the bottom just gives a little bit of a stylized flair to the piece. I feel like when you add those special little touches, it also makes the piece look a little bit more expensive and luxurious if done in the correct way, which I feel like these were. <laughs> also, I really feel like in the summertime, it's really important to get pieces that fit well because we want that easy breezy look, but we don't want things that are ill fitting and just look baggy and unflattering to our silhouette. I feel like that's where people get a little bit lost when creating a wardrobe for the summertime is they want that beachy easy going look so they get pants that are very oversized and flowy and sometimes it's just not flowy in the right places that is why I personally have started investing in better quality pieces and brands because they just seem to do the tailoring of the pieces a lot better again there are exceptions like that H&M sweater top and these pants from Zara you can find those very rare pieces that are really great quality and are very beautiful. I have been looking for the perfect pair of white jeans, like literally since I've grown to the height that I am at. <laughs> So like probably like 10 plus years, I felt like I either found like skinny jeans that ended up being see-through or they were just a little bit too baggy and they weren't very figure flattering. I feel like I found the perfect pair of white jeans. I will link them below. I feel like they still are available and they might even be on sale. Honestly, I know that Madewell was having sales recently. So I'll definitely link these below as well, but these jeans are 
perfection. They are perfect for so many different people because I feel like the skinny jean trend is on the way out and flared jeans are coming in, but I am not ready to transition into those flared jeans again. They kind of give me flashbacks to like my childhood when they were really in. <laughs> so I am really adoring the straight leg jeans right now. This is like a wide leg, straight leg type of cut. Absolutely love it. I think it's very flattering. It's not too out there and I feel like it's more of a timeless piece that you're going to be able to wear for a very long time. And the primary reason I love these so much is because they are so figure flattering yet they are very, very thick. They're a super thick denim material but it definitely still has that stretch in it that makes them very comfortable to wear but they're very thick. They remind me of like a thick mom jean from again when I was like a child that is what they reminded me of I think they're so stunning they make the behind look very nice and they are not see-through you can tuck pieces into these bottoms and not worry about seeing all the bulk because there is that thicker kind of forming material around your waistline I do have my sizes also down in the description bar below in case you are interested in size comparisons just so you know what to pick up for yourself but just a stunning stunning piece of clothing. I feel like this is now an essential for me in the summertime only because I found a pair of jeans that actually works insanely well. Before I would have avoided white jeans at all costs. <laughs> But now that I actually found an amazing pair, these are going to be an essential for me every spring and summer for as long as these last. <laughs> I love a linen blazer. This is so stunning. I love that it has this linen material. I think that's really what sold me on this piece because it gives that beautiful blazer aesthetic, but it's a linen, so it doesn't look too corporate. It gives this more like natural, casual look to it almost but it's still definitely more dressed up but you could honestly wear these with a pair of jeans again it has the tortoise shell design on the buttons and i think some of the key features to look for in a blazer is a slightly elongated collar i feel like that gives a very natural and a nicer look to the piece also any type of stitching that kind of creates a little bit more of a figure flattering effect and something that you can wear loose and open but also it just kind of like hugs around around the body really beautifully. Anything basically that helps accentuate your figure I think is a really important piece when looking for a good blazer. And again, if you're looking in the summertime, linen is 100% the way to go in my opinion. Now I have this jacket in two different colors. I get questions about it all the time. This jacket is actually from Aritzia. It looks very, very similar to one from Cezanne, which I will link down below as well if you want a more sustainable brand to buy from because they are extremely similar. I think they're just slightly different fabrics. I honestly kind of want to try the one from Cezanne as well. Adding a little bit of a color splash. <laughs> To my very neutral wardrobe i do act like to add in a couple little colors here and there but honestly it's a very neutral color <laughs> It's almost like a skin toned pink. I absolutely love it. It's this like peachy, muted peachy color. I don't know, you guys can see what it is, but I absolutely love it. I love that you can do up the sleeves, which I feel like gives again, a little bit more of a casual look. I will say I have a thing where I don't really like long sleeves. I always tend to roll my sleeves up like I am doing right now. I just like that look better. I love taking a little bit fancier pieces and making them look slightly more casual. I love that this has a little bit of a textured material to it. I feel like that makes it look a little bit more upscale. It adds some depth to an outfit as well, especially if you're just wearing like a very, very basic outfit. You can throw this on and it just pulls the look together so beautifully. And a key feature to this piece, honestly, and this is something to look for when you are buying pieces for the spring and summer is look at the interior because this is a beautiful, beautiful, silky, soft interior. Majority of the pieces that I have here are either extremely lightweight or they have like a very silky cooling interior to the piece. And I feel like that's just such an essential in the hot summertime heat. So even though this is a jacket, it's actually very lightweight and very breezy on the skin and it just feels amazing. Now I have two dresses to show you. I did originally have 
three, but then I never really wore the third one. The third one was more for like if I had a wedding to go to or something, but I feel like that's more of like a special occasion thing and that doesn't necessarily need to be in like a capsule wardrobe. Whereas the two dresses I did decide to show you are actual pieces that I would wear on like a more regular basis throughout the summertime. So the first one is this little dress from Cezanne. This was part of their Rio, I was gonna say Rio de Janeiro, that is not it, the Farm Rio collection. Other one's a body butter. <laughs> but I just really like this one because it has a very feminine look to it. I love looking feminine in the summertime. It has this beautiful detailing around the collar line, which again, it just looks really beautiful with a tan when you have that kind of detailing around there. I think it looks so, so beautiful. I love the kind of like Spanishy flair. Well, I guess it's more of like a Brazilian flair if it's uh, Rio, but absolutely beautiful. It has this eyelet crocheted detail all over the dress, which again, I just feel like screams summer. Although I will point out, I definitely would recommend getting pieces that are double lined because you don't want everywhere <laughs> all the way down the dress to be like see-through and all those like eyelet areas but again you can take a piece like this you can pair it with some high heels or you could pair it with some sandals making it look a little bit more casual you can pair it with a jacket just to give it a little bit more warmth or conservative type of look with that jacket over top. Absolutely love it think it's so so beautiful just goes seamlessly with all the other pieces in my wardrobe. And the last dress is actually this one here. Again, it's from Cezanne. Again, it is double lined. It has that eyelet design all the way down it. I love this one because it's white with a cream eyelet design on it. It makes it so much more versatile. If you try to take a strictly white outfit and then add a pop of cream like a bag or something like that honestly like this one here if i tried to take my coach bag here that is a more creamy color and throw it on a white dress sometimes that can just look a little bit muddy and a little bit off but if you have a piece that has that white and cream already in it then it just flows beautifully and goes together seamlessly. This dress also, again, just has beautiful buttons. I do know for a fact at the time of filming this, this is actually on sale, which like for me personally, I'm like kind of upset about because I definitely bought it full price a few weeks ago. <laughs> But that means it's very good for you guys if you guys are interested. Definitely, if you're interested in this piece, get it while it's on sale because I'm not sure if they're honestly going to carry this piece till next year or not or if they're discontinuing it for the season. But it is on quite a bit of a sale right now, so I would pick this up if you are interested. I love the look of a tucked in shirt, like kind of what I'm wearing right now with the collar, with the cuffed sleeves and with the button details and the pockets on the front here. I really wanted a piece that I could throw on that is longer that I don't feel like is revealing at all but is still very feminine and looks very beautiful and summery. Sometimes I want to wear a dress but I don't always want to look like I'm showing too much leg or showing too much chest or too much collarbone. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I'm going to like a family function where I want to be just that little bit more conservative but also still look pretty. Also that is a plus with a longer dress is you do not have to worry about it blowing up in the wind which is really nice. <laughs> So now as far as accessories go, let's just start out with this hat because you guys are probably like, do you really need to have a hat included in this video? But you guys, I got this from Everlane and it's literally the exact same color as the shorts that I got from Everlane and it's just such like a cute look to go together <laughs> in the summertime. I've worn it together before. Also, I just have to say, I have a very, very hard time finding baseball caps and this one actually fits me. I know this section of the video is not gonna be for everyone, so I'll go through it super quick, but it has an adjustable back. It has a smaller head area. It's not as high. So if you have like a shorter head, I guess, like I do, this actually fits perfectly. It has a large hole in the back, so you can actually wear a lower ponytail and it can go through very comfortably. And then lastly, the actual rim of this hat isn't too long. I find sometimes the rims on baseball hats are like literally like so far away from my face. I know they're trying to cover my whole face, but I just feel like it looks really off on me. This is a very feminine, pretty baseball cap, okay? <laughs> 
So next, let's just talk about the bags that I have really quick. Both of them are quite neutral. Both of them did come with a strap that makes it longer, or you can take the strap off and just have it as a handheld. Both of these purses are made from leather. The Teddy Blake one I have here is definitely much higher quality, but I still really love this one from Coach as well. They give kind of like a similar aesthetic. Honestly, these are my two main bags that I have. Both of these, I believe, do come in a larger size. The Teddy Blake one actually, I think, comes in two larger sizes. So this is the nine inch. I think you can get it in an 11 and a 14. I actually have an affiliate link for this bag down below if you wanna check it out. It does, again, help me in my channel. I've had this for almost a year now. Absolutely love it. I will be doing a one year update very, very soon. So keep an eye out for that if you are interested in hearing a little bit more how it's been over the year but such a stunning stunning piece i literally use the heck out of it this one is newer to the last few months absolutely love this as well because i didn't have kind of like a whitish colored bag this is more of like a bony cream color and I feel like that makes it look a little bit more high-end than just a plain white bag. Sometimes white purses can look a little bit cheap. I also feel like it goes with more pieces when it is off-white. And something really cool actually about this coach bag is it does have this like creamy exterior, but on the sides it has a very similar coloring to this Teddy Blake bag. And the strap that it comes with is this more like mahogany brown deep brown color which i really like because it makes it so versatile but again absolutely love both of these as you can see throughout this video they just pair so well with everything and as you also would have seen throughout this video i did pair a lot of pieces with this coach belt which is that kind of more like darker brown which goes with the coach bag perfectly Again, such a good combination. I actually bought them at the same time because I was like, if I'm gonna get a belt and a bag, I might as well get them at the same time and make them match. <laughs> Again, it has the gold hardware on it. Looks very beautiful. Also, I have a little thing with belts that I care what the logo looks like. I mean, it's gonna be right out front and center. So if it's a little too like gaudy looking, then I'm just like not super into that. I think Coach has a really simplistic and beautiful design. I also think Ralph Lauren has really beautiful belts as well. A link down below that I'm actually thinking of getting. It's a reversible belt, so like a two-in-one. So beautiful. I Again, I'll link it down below so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But both that one and this one, the key feature that I look for when I buy like just a belt on its own is that it has this design where it has the buckle actually in the back. So you can loop the belt behind the main front here so that you always have that beautiful logo showing and you don't have that little flap that's just hanging around that drives me nuts with belts honestly i hate that they never seem to lie exactly where i want them i don't know why all belts aren't made to go behind like this i think it's such a fantastic idea it just looks so much more clean and seamless so lastly, let's talk about footwear because honestly, I think that's like a huge thing that everyone loves to talk about. Don't know why I saved it to the end, but here we go. <laughs> let's start with the ones I'm wearing right now. These sandals I got from San Eldman. Absolutely love them. I think they're so beautiful because they're this stunning creamy bone color, but then they have this beautiful raffia bottom to them. It has this really beautiful like cushion effect in the heel of the shoe which makes them very comfortable to wear i love these slide on sandals i think they're so beautiful i'm so happy they came into style way more comfortable than the sandals that used to go like in between your big toe and the rest of your toes that is just not that comfortable to wear to be honest i feel like you always have to break those shoes in before your feet get used to them these are such a great design i feel like they look so much more effortless almost like parisian and comfortable at the same time so beautiful absolutely love both of these shoes these sam eldman ones and also these ones that i actually got from amazon both are kind of like dupes for the hermes sandals that everyone's talking about there's no way i'm going to buy those for how expensive they are unless i become 
very, very rich. I feel like these look just as beautiful, give the same aesthetic, yet are a fraction of the price. And honestly, these Amazon ones, I have been wearing these basically every day this summer. They are lasting so well. They're so comfortable to wear. They are looking a little bit haggard. Honestly, I'm thinking of picking up a new pair for next summer just in case they sell out. And they are only like $50 Canadian on the Amazon website. I'll link them down below so you know the exact ones that I got because there are some like knockoff ones of these on Amazon or similar ones, but they're from a different brand. So I definitely recommend these ones. So those are two really good pairs of everyday shoes, but I also love to have a pair of heels in the summertime. And these ones <laughs> are honestly kind of like a mix between a heel and those last Amazon shoes that I wore. They are a very similar color. These are from Nicole Miller, but these are amazing summertime sandals. I love the thinner block heel so you still feel very stable but from the side it almost looks like you're wearing a stiletto. I just love that look. I think it's really cool, really stylish right now. I love that it has the double strap. I feel like my foot feels very secure in these shoes and if you guys don't know already I prefer for a kind of like flat toe shoe. I really like that look. I also have slightly wider feet. So I feel like a lot of the times when there is that flat toe, it like widens the toe area. So you just have more room for your foot to kind of like spread out and be comfortable. Whereas if you have like a really pointy toe, then your feet kind of get squished into that point and stuff. And it's just like not as comfortable and honestly, probably not good for your feet over the long term. Oh, and I was quickly going to mention this top I'm wearing is from Cezanne. This is just a really basic yet very upscale. It's very stretchy yet it feels like silk. It's just such a great top. I did do a full haul video on some pieces that I just got from Cezanne. So I'll link that video above here if you are interested in learning a little bit more about this top. I paired it with these pants from Zara. This is their high-waisted trousers. I think that's what they're called. I'll link them below as well. But this is just an alternative look if you needed a more workwear appropriate look for summer. So I thought I would just include this super quickly. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up down below and also make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. More than 90% of you that watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel. So if you could subscribe, it really would mean so, so much to me, more than you probably know. <laughs> but I just really hope you found this video helpful, whether it was because it showed you outfit inspiration that you could create with a very minimalistic 14 piece capsule wardrobe, or it was just showing you pieces that you would like to purchase for the rest of the summer season, or even if it's for next year, but you want to get the pieces now so that you can get them on sale. I always recommend buying off season so that you do get those really great pieces for better pricing and more affordable pricing. But just thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.